Hello, my name is Scott Lane, and this is my case simulation final presentation. So, starting off company name, I went with Scott's Bittersweet Cafe. There was no rhyme or reason to why I chose this name. I just wanted something that was fun and simple and would get customers interested. I also wanted to include my name in the company name because I thought it would give it a personal touch for my customers. So moving on to week one decisions. So I went with organic for my coffee type. I went with this because I wanted the highest quality coffee I could possibly give my customers. And number of cups I bought week one was 20,000. And I did this because that was the best bang for buck I could get. It was cheaper that way and it ended up using all the cups by week 12 so it was worth it and also it's not on the screen but i went with the more expensive expensive furniture and espresso maker and both of these decisions were based on the fact that it would give my customers a better experience and i thought that would make them more likely to return and or tell their friends about my coffee shop and and now we're getting into the number of managers and my operating hours. So I went with the maximum number of managers week one, and I also decided to hire 20 employees. And the reason I did this is because I knew that it would give a better work environment for my employees, uh, having more flexibility for them and them working less hours since there were so many of them. Also, my open time and close time was also the maximum, so there were a lot of hours that needed to be worked. So I wanted to have ample employees for this. And moving on now to price and promotion marketing. So I set my price at 475, which was in hindsight too high. I was thinking the higher the price, the more money I would make, the more revenue I would generate. And it didn't end up working out this way. And for promotion, I did the maximum amount I could. I did 10 radio spots for 2800 and I did just general awareness. And the reason I picked general awareness is because I really wanted to get my name out there and I didn't want to uh, spend money on other promotions that might not get my name out as well. So now this is my income statement week 12. As you can see, I ended with a little over $40,000. And I'm very happy with this. I really thought this was not going to go well starting out in the beginning because I kept spending money, extra money that I didn't necessarily need to in order to give my customers a better experience. And in the beginning, my income statements were kind of in the negatives, but and ended up working out for the better. And this is my final balance sheet. So cumulative net profit, cumulative net profit margin, customer satisfaction rating. So customer satisfaction was 91, which was I believe the highest out of anybody. Um, my net profit is right here, 40,000, I just said that. And moving on now to capacity utilization radio, ratio, sorry. It is right here. I was 81.7%, which is not the best, but I tried my best. So now I will be describing one business concept or term from the simulation experience that was most interesting to me. And for me, um, that concept was that of marketing. It, I was really surprised how well um, marketing helped my business and how many people it brought in and how effective it was and if I ever do own a business one day I will definitely um, keep in mind the value and importance of marketing and describe what you learned from decision making from the simulation that you can apply to your career so for my decision making I said it a little bit before is I always had the customer in mind and I also always had my employees in mind. So I think that what I can apply to my career is it always has to be people over money because there was one week where I decided to chase the money for my cafe 
and I raised all the prices of all my coffees and it did not go well. That's actually the reason I lost the simulation because my revenue totally dropped that week. And I believe if I didn't do that and if I just left my prices, I would have continued on an upward trend and I would have won. So I think it's very important to not try to cheap out and cheap your customers, cheat your customers. And it's always important to have people in mind and treat your employees fairly especially as well. Thank you.